during COVID, uh, I believe you were actively trying to prevent the transfer portal and the, the, the money. Um, why was that important to you? Well, I wasn't actually trying to prevent it all. I, uh, the transfer portal, um, I just believe kids are going to make bad decisions. My biggest fear of the transfer rule is anybody going to learn how to fail? Because it's okay to fail. Have you ever failed? Sure. I failed a zillion times. You don't learn as much from winning as you do from losing. Because when you win, everybody's patting you on the back and you got 100,000 friends. So you're not playing. I mean, Draymond, he played five minutes a game as for Tillman, Valentine. I can name you pros that they would have transferred by now because they don't want to endure the process. Transferring is not bad. Every place isn't for everybody. But why doesn't the NBA have total free agency? You have a five-year contract or a four-year contract. We now have total free agency. If you tell a kid to go to class, you say, well, I can go over here and not go to class. How would you feel if you had a son and you, you tried to discipline him for coming home late? And he said, well, I'll just put my name in the portal and go live with Johnny's parents next door. He lets him come home at midnight. It's kind of where we're at. Sounds stupid. There's some good things about it, but there's a lot of unintended consequences. There's so many things, but is it teaching a guy when the going gets tough, get the hell out of Dodge? To me, it is. What are the good things about it? The good things are, you know, we're not all for everyone. I do think if a coach leaves, um, the player should be able to. Maybe that would help so these ADs aren't firing us all so fast. <laughs> If I was czar for the day, I, I think the transfer rule should be set out a year, you know, and, uh, and teach guys the process and how to work. And yet still, if the situation isn't right, they can move. What do you think of the money? The money, um, I think we've made some mistakes. I think there should be some stipends for the kids. I think like everything else, though, it went from zero to 180. Right. Now we got, you know, kids with maybe a lot of money. And what does that usually bring? Um, some problems. I think it's gonna hurt the kids. Because remember now, in basketball, I think 1.1% per of the players make it to the NBA. And I think 3.8 plays somewhere. That means 96% of the kids at the end of their four years are gonna be looking for their cameo money for happy birthdays. Nobody's going to want it. Right. How do those kids survive? What have we taught them? I promise you this. Uh, these schools do make a lot of money. But like in the Big Ten, most of these schools are trying to fund 26, 28 programs. And there's probably a couple of them making any money. So I worry about what's going to happen to all those non-revenue programs or Olympic programs. You know, as far as academically, the tutoring, the situations kids they get a lot of help to get through and there, there's a lot of money spent on them but but do i think there should be a happy medium 100 percent. but do i think it should be total free for all i don't we should have done a better job of getting ahead of it and coming up with a standard that is pretty equal for all or otherwise it's going to be the hatfields and mccoys out there it's going to be a zoo which it's turning into I think the people that are making the rules are not down in the basement with us. 